This place is completely terrifying. Every time I walk down the street and I turn a corner and I see this building, it frightens me. I know it's been empty since at least the late 1980s, but there's nothing that can frighten me more than this building. Even before I was told what it is, I found it really off-putting. I'm curious about it. I don't like it. Um, I want to go inside it, though. I'm trying to find a way to get inside, but I don't think I'm going to fit through this really tiny, broken pain. Apparently, once or twice a year, they bring a guided tour so they can show people. But to be honest with you, there's not going to be much here that really tells you about what was going on here. We know what was going on here. We know that um, people were interrogated and killed and stuff like that. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it was just offices. Maybe just really nothing was going on. Maybe it's just bureaucracy and offices and people, um, you know, in hierarchies being told what to do and doing what they have to do and signing forms and pressing buttons and uh, shuffling papers and then, you know, packing their bag and going home at the end of the day and um, going home and sleeping and getting up in the morning and packing a sandwich and getting out and arriving here at nine o'clock in the morning and thinking, oh geez, another day at work and going into this place and, you know, checking in, punching your, your ticket to say, here I am, here I am, turning up for work at the yeah, in the SS, because this was an SS um, headquarters at one, back in the day. And, uh, you know, after the SS were disbanded, I guess you could call it, um, the place became the headquarters of the Stasi. So actually, in a weird way, it was probably not that interesting or spectacularly horrible here. It, just the banality of evil, I know that's a cliche, but, you know, looking through these windows, I'm actually getting a feeling for that, that this great big edifice is just a monument to the banality of evil. You know, somebody actually designed this building to encase evil. Um, it is ugly as well. I mean, that's part of the thing. You walk around this quite pretty little town in Weimar, city town, it's not very big, and it's kind of chocolate boxy, pretty, but then you come across this monstrosity and it stands out actually not even because of its history, but because it's so ugly. Yet it's kind of really modern and state-of-the-art. It was designed to kind of encapsulate all that is modern, and um, it isn't. It's just kind of grim and frightening and banal and boring and they can't get rid of it because its foundations are so deep underground that if they try to actually blast it and get rid of it it would cause serious structural damage in the nearby part of the town the other buildings houses and things so they're kind of just leaving it here for now you never know I mean they might find something to do with it I'm surprised it hasn't been turned into luxury flats uh, maybe by the time you see this film, maybe it will be, maybe it'll be the most desirable residence in Weimar. Uh, God help the world if it is.